Good evening, YouTube and Twitch and everybody else that's watching from all your devices, your laptops, your phones, your, I don't know, your tablet, whatever it is. Thank you very much for tuning in to LST episode 9. My goodness, we've come quite a, quite a way. Um, something that was just a basic little concept has turned into something quite interesting. Um, and we've been getting quite some awesome results and I'd say responses from all of our videos. So thank you very much for tuning in. Tonight we've got a bit of an extra twist. Uh, like I've told you guys that we uh, we like to keep things fresh and new and improve on something that we did before. So um, just a basic little tonight concept. has turned into something quite interesting. Ooh, hold on, let me close um, that. And we've been getting... All right, I was busy taking a look. I was seeing if the stream was working that side, um, obviously causing the echo there. Sorry about that. So tonight, as you can see, it is going to be a double review. It is, we're going to be taking a look at the Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma. So let me just quickly pick up the webcam and show you exactly what it is we're going to be using tonight. Here we have the Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma. So it's the Black Widow TE Chroma. Um, relatively new to South African market but it's been uh, readily available for about a year or so um, from Europe, etc, etc. Now you will see there's a little Jack Skellington sitting right here, a little Mopey, um, and that is something that I'll be giving away tonight uh, during the live stream. Details will go up on the channel in a few minutes. So let me just quickly put the camera back on here. Um, so you saw I've got a little Jack Skellington there assisting me. Uh, tonight you'll see I haven't got my fancy headphones on because I needed an extra port available for the uh, for the Black Widow. Now, I'll, as usual, the gear I'm using is my um, my Asus FX 550J uh, laptop, gaming laptop that has got a built-in GeForce 950M. Uh, GDX as well as in uh, the new core i5 uh, It's the quad core pre oh, I can't remember exactly. I'm not gonna bore you with those details, but at least you know I'm using game tech there um, as well as my What I've been using for the past two weeks is my uber favorite the Naga Razer Naga Chroma um, So I'm be using pretty much fully kitted out Razer tech tonight. Um, let me just get that into place. Uh, come on, camera. Okay, camera is in place, I guess. So, just to do a little bit of an unboxing, what we've got is inside the box, the keyboard comes in this nice little carry bag with straps. And you, once you've zipped it open, you um, you got a little covering here. Uh, let me just try and position myself nicely in front of this camera. Inside, you've got your you've got your keyboard, which there we go. It is nice and small. It is portable, which is pretty much the main focus on this keyboard. Now it has got a detachable USB cable, so I don't know, for lack of a better expression, we're kind of doing what is a, an unboxing video, a very casual unboxing. So inside you've got your little USB cable with your mini USB attachment on the end. Now it's very fancy, it's the gold plated wires and it's also the, um, I can't remember what this is, it's the threaded material type cable. I uh, don't think you can see it. No, you can't see it. This camera is not too detailed. So you've got your mini USB section, which plugs into the back section of the keyboard. And once that's in there, you can plug it into whether you, you know, your, your PC or your laptop. So tonight I'm using it with the laptop. And let me just hold the keyboard up so you can see when I plug it in. Right now, obviously dead, and key goes in, and 
Okay, you obviously heard that that went, got plugged in. Let's just wait for it to respond. And there we go. All lit up and fancy and nice. Okie dokie. So, I will cover a bit more information on the keyboard right now. And then we'll go into the Razer Synapse section. Um, and I'll show you how nicely it fits in front of my laptop. So just a quick little overview, and I just got to get used to not using that keyboard. So the technical specs on this, the on the Chroma keyboard, let me just move that out of the way, is that it has got the Razer mechanical switches with 50g um, actuation force. So it's it's very light. You literally don't have to bang it down because it's the tournament edition. It is lightweight to carry around, obviously the main focal point to pack it up and go wherever you need to go to. Um, the lifespan on these keys, 60 million keystrokes. So it's going to last you one hell of a long time. Now the backlight, if you watch the Naga um, Chroma review that I did, came with the, 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 the Chroma range has a color backlighting sec section or the customizable color options up to 16.8 million tones of colors. So right now, the mouse and the keyboard is busy rotating through 16.8 million different tones. Um, the, it also has got 10 key um, rollover anti-ghosting. Um, to be completely honest with you, I have no freaking idea what that is. I will research that and put that in the actual typed out review article. So please excuse me there. Now, ah, uh, there we go. There's the word. The cable is a braided cable. Um, obviously it comes with the with the carry case for protection. It's Razer Synapse 2.0 enabled, and it is 950 grams. So just under a kilogram. So it, it's it's staunch, it's well built together, the mechanisms and everything it's, it's I've been using for about a day or two and it's, it's very comfortable to use. Okie dokie, so I'm going to pop out of the information screen there and drop you into the keyboard and screen section so that we can go over the, um, the actual synapse section of things. And right now is where you're going to see the um, the giveaway information uh, for this uh, little Jack Skellington. It is Twitter related tonight. So let me pop it in there. And there we go. So you should right now be seeing that um, for a chance to get this little Jack Skellington Mopey, which I will courier to you wherever you're located. Sorry if you're international, I'm not willing to send this overseas, um, but for you South African residents, I'll courier this off to you tomorrow. So all you got to do is hit me up with a tweet right now. My phone will light up and uh, by the end of this video, which should be another half an hour or so, I will, um, I'll tweet you back and say congratulations on air as well. Now, just a bit of a shout out. Thank you very much to Smallville Comics. They're the guys I went and got this from. They're also the guys that gave me, well, I wouldn't say gave me, I went and bought this really awesome Aldoon pop figurine, which you should go and check out. Um, I think I took the last one. So as soon as Joe from Smallville Comics gets in a bunch more of these, trust me, you need to. So he's my guardian. He keeps me safe at the office. Okay, I'll move away from the cordiness there and back into the Chroma stuff. So get those tweets rolling. I'll catch it going on my phone here next to me. And then we'll head into the, um, what was it? The RuneScape MMO. So under the, no, we've taken a look at the mouse stuff already. Um, so let's go through to the Black Widow Chroma edition at the bottom here. Okay, let me just close. There we go. All right, cool. So Again, you've got your profiles that you can save, set up, and scroll through on the fly. Under the lighting section, you have got options here that are, you know, breathing, reactive, spectrum cycling, static, wave, and ripple. Now, something I have to show you is, okay, you already saw the breathing, which is what you can see 
hopefully if it's focusing quite nicely uh, I'm gonna take a chance and just lift it a bit here so you should see that it's pulsing through two tones of blue that I've gone and set there now you have your reactive keys um, you have the spectrum cycling which now is on the same setting as my mouse that goes through all 16.8 million colors and a static color either green or you select your color wheel here and you can set it to purple and it pretty much changes within five seconds now my absolute favorite is okay ripple which we'll get to next but wave check this out guys woohoo color wave you can set the direction as well left or right so this is pretty much the gimmicky side of things if you uh, <laughs> if you want to be fancy now ripple effect my absolute absolute favorite i've selected blue as my color now whichever key i press while i'm playing will cause a wave so let's type out hello now how epic is that guys that is <laughs> that is way too cool um right so i'm hoping you can see me again so that is the um the lighting side of things on this keyboard absolutely insane so chroma has definitely brought a i don't know a, a fanciness to to their peripherals um, and the price difference isn't that much between the chroma range and the regular range uh, i'd say in south african rand terms you may be looking at about a difference of about three to four hundred rand on just upgrading from a normal black widow tournament edition to black widow tournament edition chroma so my opinion the color stuff's worth the extra bucks so then you've got your gaming mode as per usual okay it's pointless me pointing at the keyboard because you can't see the keyboard right now you can just see me and uh what i'm working on the screen here screen here you've got your macro section where same thing i covered through on the mouse is um if you're playing an mmo for example like you like i'm a wower i would come and sit through and record a a macro here and assign it to a macro key but i wouldn't need to do that right now if i'm using the um the naga the chroma apps as far as i understand um there are some actually yes i i actually posted a link or an article on the ges website the other day um regarding the chroma um the chroma enabled applications so it is very application specific um, which then leads me into another cool effect regarding the keyboard which you then can go and set um, according to the games you play so mmo fps um, then game specific starcraft uh, counter-strike whatever it is and the keyboard will literally just light up on the keys that that game uses so if you're sitting in a dark room if i had to turn off the lights here and decide to play um world of warcraft or an fps like um what kind of strike uh, geo um it would literally just light up the numerical keys um the space bar shift control and alt um and uh, everything else will stay dark which will help me to obviously know where the keys are, um, which I think is pretty, pretty nifty. As usual, there's the stats section um, that you can come and take a look at afterwards that is very application based. So as you can see, there are World of Warcraft's loaded, Dead Realms loaded, Counter-Strike's loaded, Need for Speed's loaded. So if I played Counter-Strike Geo, like I just mentioned, I can come and take a look here at how many clicks or how many keystrokes or whatever I've done with that since I've been using the apps. So I've been using the Naga for a while on, um, oh, it's literally just loaded RuneScape, which is what we're going to play shortly. Well done. Good guys, Razor, well done. 
you guys are very smart. All right, so um, obviously I haven't played World of Warcraft with the uh, Black Widow yet, but on the Epic Naga, you'll see that I have moved the mouse a total distance of 1.12 meters, 258 mouse clicks, wheel rotation 31.57, and all of this, and that's based on 29 minutes of World of Warcraft. So now it'll do that for all your apps. Okay. Heat maps um, would pretty much focus on the sections of the screen that uh, you utilize the most, um, which I'm not going to go into too much detail for. So that covers the keyboard. Um, it sounds like a bit of a, it's got a, if you haven't ever used or seen or um, yeah, I think I covered it with those two words used or seen the Black Widow um, or at least a keyboard with mechanical um, keys it's got a bit of a typewriter sound to it because of the, me the, the mechanical buttons so I'm going to move the speaker a little bit closer and press the keys I hope you can hear it So there we go. Um, it's not an annoying sound. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm doing the review tonight at my office because um, our wonderful ISP at home has let me down again. Um, I won't mention any names. All I'm just saying is that we need to once again encourage our South African ISPs to all join forces instead of working against each other and give us one simple solution because right now um, you know you've in, you've what what's the word you've uh, inconvenienced me greatly by sending me away from home to do this review bad ISP you bad bad ISP anyway okay cool so let's pop into the game um, Okay, RuneScape, here we go. Let me just pop on over to here, change that through to the game, and we'll wait for it to load. So now I'm, com I'm flying completely blind now when it comes to RuneScape. All I know is that it is a free-to-play MMO, and I haven't played it yet. So you're all on this ride with me tonight for the first time. So, it's about to hit your screens, you should hear the sound going, and any time now. There we go, it is active. Okay, great. So, I haven't set anything up here. It is a, where's the options for sound? Let me just turn down the sound slightly. Yeah, there we go. That should be better. Uh, there we go. Okay, so RuneScape um, is downloadable through, I'll tell you now, I'm just quickly, while you're watching that screen, going to Google, and you see what I did there? I was using the laptop keyboard, leaned over, and I forgot that I have this magnificent keyboard right in front of me here that I'll be using. So, RuneScape in Google sends me to runescape.com um, let me hit stop there for a second on the wiki it says that the initial release date was 2001 the developers are I'm not too sure how to say this Jagex now it, ha it is a multiplayer obviously due to being an MMO um, the designers We've actually got two names here. So, Andrew Gower and Paul Gower. I'm guessing they're brothers. Or family. Yeah, definitely family members. Not cousins. Yeah, definitely brothers. Um, it's received quite a few nominations, it seems. The BAFTA. I don't know what the BAFTA stands for. But uh, the Games Award for an online browser type game. So, that's probably what the B stands for and the BAFTA Games Award for Persistent Game. Now, platforms availability is through your web browser, Microsoft Windows, and Java. That's what it says there. Okay, so runescape.com. Let's take a look what the website says. 
and you'll see I'm busy sporting my Movember. Um, if you haven't started growing yours, shame on you. Uh, there's a bit of a beard fetish going on right now. Uh, so um, don't worry, I'm not growing a beard. Although I've shared a lot of stuff about uh, beards on Facebook recently, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Although Tyler, he's part of our GES team, I'd, I wouldn't have said that he would look good with a with a full beard, but he actually pulls off the the black beard thing. So Tyler, if you're watching, good guy, good guy. There's a uh, there's some stuff for you to go and take a look at on my on my Facebook page. All right, so the website looks pretty interesting. Uh, game guide, getting started, ways to play, skills, quest, combat, gear guide. Bup, 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 bup. Actually, I don't even think we should go through this. We should just... Let's just brave it. Yeah, let's brave it. Okay, so you can either... So what you would do is you would go to runescape.com. You would download the installer. The installer would then be a, an executable file on your desktop. You would then run and it will launch a mini Java launcher, which then runs in... Currently, I've got it set on window mode. So if we take a look here at settings, uh, what are my settings? Manual setups on custom, okay. It's currently in window mode, lobby music's down, sound effects and everything. We should reduce those. Voice over as well. Stereo, okay, it's set to 192.0.8.0. No, it's not, yes it is. Okay, you're seeing it in that res, I'm not. Okay, cool, magic. So you can either log in through Facebook or your Google Plus account, or you can create a free account. So I'm going to create a free account. And this is as far as I've got today. When it launches you in, you can start customizing a character. All right, so you have three different modes. You've got normal mode, which is pretty much any normal MMO mode. Then you have Iron Man mode, which is no, I don't want to be in Iron Man mode. I'll stay in normal mode. So I'll just explain it to you. So Iron Man mode is where you, okay, normal mode, you can be assisted by other MMO players. So you can open up trade windows, etc., etc. Iron Man mode, no, you're on your own. Hardcore Iron Man mode is you're playing unassisted and if you get killed, um, I'm not too sure if it's by creatures or other MMO players in world your account literally is dead so you have to start a brand new account so hardcore is for the hardcore people I'm not going to what the hell let's just play hardcore freaking yes advanced mode stop giving me warnings I know what I'm doing Yes, I want to play that way. Okay, so you saw it gave me about five different warnings. Um, okay, Gert, shut up. Shut up. I'm not even going to WhatsApp you a shut up. Put down your freaking mint tea and just watch the review, guy. Don't tell me what to do. Otherwise, you do a review. You want to do a review? Okay, I'll, I'll put the phone on video mode. You can do a review. There, do your review. Go ahead, go. Freaking cheeky punk. All right. Anyway, so I'm gonna play with a female character, um, just to show you guys I'm not sexist. Then you can choose your hairstyle. So <sighs> you can choose your hair color. Let's give this cheeky blue hair and give her a fair complexion. Uh, so she looks like a avatarian. Choose a top. Okay, let's give her some stylish attire. Okay, there she's showing a lot of cleavage. And she has no bracers. And she has no shoulder guards. So let's give her Beastmaster gear where she's got like... Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, now let's give her pants. All these icons look like they're doing funny dances. No, that looks bad, that looks bad, that looks bad. 
That looks too anime. No. 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 It looks like she's wearing a kilt. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I'll stick to that. Okay, color code. I'm being a male here and getting my colors wrong. So. Okay, to my eyes that looks okay. I'm hoping it's okay. Do you guys approve? Just, just, let's just change the color of the shoes. Oh, so I can mouse over. I don't have to click for it to apply. Let's give her some blue suede shoes. Oh yeah. All right. What did I do there? Am I done? Yes. Okay. So I'm done. What's that? In list. Okay. So if I click done. Character name. Randomize. Let's go. G S. Oh no! Hey, look at that. The name's available. Choose your logging details. Please enter your age in years. Okay. Yes, I'm 29. My email address is jean at gs-sa.com. Send me an email if you want to. Tell me how much I suck. Okay, my password. Can you guys see? Okay, luckily you guys just get stars there. So I'm going to go with... I like cheese. Send me news and up updates. Excuse me. Not particularly interested in updates right now. Um, so let's port right in. Okay, she's doing a bit of a happy dance there. Okay, you, you're not watching what I'm drinking. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Okay, let's head into the game here. Ooh, we got a cinematic. And an ad. Obviously, because it's browser-based, there will be ads. Some heroes are made. Their strength is the result of hardship and toil. There's no voiceover, so I'll be your voiceover artist. Some heroes live for adventure, confronting terrible dangers in pursuit of riches and fame. Some heroes are born, possessing natural gifts. There he is. Them above the Some universe. heroes are made. Woo! Their strength is the result of hardship and toil. Some heroes live for adventure, okay, there was an echo confronting there. terrible dangers in pursuit of riches and fame. Which voiceover artist did you prefer? The in-game guy or me? Obviously going to be me. Thank you. I know I'm full of shit. Others fight to protect those who cannot defend themselves. Okay, you're taking too long, guy. All right, so what have we got on screen here? But some heroes have more unlikely WASD to turn the camera. Okay, so as you see, everything is busy loading. So it's busy buffering in there. Everything kind of looks a bit, of, bit out of place. Alright. Okay. I'm hearing seagulls in the background. I don't know if you guys are hearing seagulls in the background. So, when I said I'm flying blind earlier, I literally am. We're stuck with a blank screen and some Gandalfy kind of person popping up every now and then, bottom left hand side. And now he's gone. Come here. I've got something to tell you. I would love to go wherever you are, but I can't see. Somebody take the blindfolds off of me. All right, I see the time here is picking my local time up as half past six. Obviously, there's something I've stuffed up on the settings. Game settings, controls, skip tutorial. Ooh, okay, so if I click around there, you're seeing a funny yellow thing. So I wonder what's happening. 
W A S D moves the camera. Still can't see. This says loading. Please wait. Top right. Top left. Okay. Hop worlds. Interesting. Interface setup. Uh, can you shift that around? No. Uh. Okay. I'm here, Lassie. Whoa! I need to talk to you. I know you need to talk to me, but I'd love to see you. I don't know where you are. Okay, UTC clock. If I turn it off. There we go. Okay, clock's gone. Still don't understand why it's picking it up as half past I've six. Okay. All right, let's just let, let, let's do this. Let's log out and log back in. Maybe it's cached everything. Okay. All right. Okay. So what was my username? Oh, it was my my password, my email. Uh, this keyboard's freaking cool. All I'm gonna say is, guys, keep your eyes on the GS Twitter feed. Facebook page and did I say Twitter feed Facebook page and website in the next five weeks we're giving away some incredible razor stuff you never know this keyboard and that mouse over there might I said might might be part of the giveaway so um, if you want I'll fan sign the bottom for you no okay I'm being full of shit again all right, so let me just get in here. All right. See the top here, it's got the PS4 ad for Call of Duty, which I'm busy playing as well. I know we're not reviewing Black Ops right now, but... Invalid email or password? No. How can I forget credentials are literally just created? Okay, let me just log in with Facebook then. So, what you don't see right now is it's popping open my web browser for me to allow um, RuneScape to access my public profile, which I am giving it permission to. Yes, you can continue as Jean. So no, it's not going to be G Play Dreamscape before. Nope. Uh, create. It's asking me if I want to create a new game account or sync an existing account. I should have synced. I should have just synced. That's stupid of me. Yeah. Okay, please close this window and continue. So that tells me it's loaded in game. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I see that we've got an in-game configurator that's popped up. For what? The mouse? Yeah. Oh, obviously because it's an MMO. So if you watch the Razer Naga um, review. Okay, no. Move away from the console. How do I exit the console? Ooh, wow. Check that out. Okay, so we're going to randomize. No. Uh, this is the developer console to close. Press Alt. Uh, Alt 2. Alt 1. Alt what? Wow. Ah, it's just launched Photoshop. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alt that okay it's gone thank goodness mm. okay all right she looks really nasty okay we're still in normal mode here 
इसको हार्ड को आयन मैन मर्ड यस आई वांट टू प्ले यस आई नो आई एम गोना डाई यस आई नो यस आई एम वेरी श्योर लाइक आर यू श्योर यू वांट टू लूज योर अकाउंट इफ यू सक यस आई एम वेरी श्योर ओके सो डन कैरेक्टर नेम जीएस ओ owner ver should be available and yes it is okay hopefully we've got some, some heroes are born okay this is looking a bit better natural gifts that lift them above the ordinary there we go thanks some for sticking with me are made their strength is the result of hardship and toil Wonder what happened earlier. Some heroes live for adventure, confronting terrible dangers in pursuit of riches and fame. While others fight to protect those who cannot defend themselves. But some heroes have more unlikely origins. This is the story of one such hero. This is your story. Oh, wow, that looks interesting. Got quite a few mentions already. All right. Okay. Now, just quickly, busy taking a look here. I'll be with you guys in two seconds. Come here, Lassie. I need to talk to you. Okay, cool. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I'm on my way. So, okay, there we go. Rotating the cam. This is a lot better. Okay. So, W A S D rotates cam. and choose option walk here left click on goodrick to talk to him i need to talk to you lassie i need to talk to you about something very important lassie okay stop calling me lassie i have a name what's the matter i had a dream a vision the world was on fire all That's of the consumed in flames Oh no! Where is the water? When I awoke, I knew I had to come and get you. Why, I mean, what makes me so special? You're special, Lassie. You have talents and abilities beyond those of ordinary folk. You know, like a boss. Gilanor needs heroes now more than ever. That's why you have to come with me to the mainland. Gilanor So I'm guessing Galenor is the whole world. Now, why would I trust you, old man? I don't even know you, and you want me to go to the mainland with you? Once we're there, I'll guide you to places where you can put your talents to use. But I don't even know how to use my talents. Will you teach me? But before we set off, we'll need to prepare you for the journey ahead. That's what I thought. We're going to need some food and a decent sword for a start. That rusty old blade of yours wouldn't cut a loaf of bread. How rude! It's a family heirloom. Don't insult my sword. But I was talking to him. Why must I select an option now? So. Yeah, who are you, old man? Godric Stine, Vein of the Baneful and Defender of the Defenseless. Is that self-proclaimed or legit? Proud member of the Society of Intrepid Adventurers and three-time winner of the Beard of the Year award. Beard of the Year award. I shouldn't even compete. This is like vintage 12 days. Horrible. Uh yeah, let's just go. Don't waste my time. 
follow Gudrik to the fishing spot. I don't want to fish. I want to go fight. Wait. Do you hear that? It sounds like your stomach. Are you hungry? Saradoman's beard. Kill it. Saradoman. Click the zombie to attack. But you just told me that my sword is worthless, and now you're telling me to kill a zombie with it. Okay, so I can attack the zombie. I can walk there, or I can examine. I can attack or exa examine the zombie. I've gained my first ability, which is. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Uh, your stomach again, or is it just another zombie? Yeah, let me examine the zombie. Hi, zombie. Yes, it's a zombie. Now let's attack it. Okay, so I'm using the Naga now to press 1. And I've leveled up. Fireworks. Well done, Lassie. You fought bravely. Thank you, strange old man. The question is, where did those creatures come from? Your belly! Anything like it in Ashdale before. Okay, so we're currently in Ashdale, is what I'm suspecting. Alright, strange man, let me follow you to the fishing spot. Very wrong. I'm not as young as I used to be, lassie. If there's danger coming, the task of protecting Ashdale will have to fall to you. Okay, I wonder if the audio is busy buffering as we're playing. Let's press on. And now we'll stick with a plan of preparing you for the journey to the mainland. But we should keep an eye out for anything unusual. Okay, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Alright, so... Bottom of your screen you've got... Like... World of Warcraft, you've got your one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, dash and equals. Those I can utilize with the Naga here, um, or the keyboard. So I'll just use the Naga. Um, but let's follow Goodrick to the fishing spot. So he's waiting. Uh, there's fish lying on the floor. Why must I fish? Just pick up the fish. Lure fishing spot. You need a fishing rod and bait. Okay. Uh, talk to... Follow Goodrick to the fishing spot, which I did. Right. Time to do some fishing. Here's some bait to get you started. Thank you very much for the bait. Left click the fishing spot to start fishing. Okay, so mouse, rolling the mouse in and out obviously zooms. I'm not saying obviously, it's not like you knew or didn't know that. Most items you pick up will be stored in your backpack. Right, let's go and cook those fish. Fireworks again, so pretty. Okay, well look, for a free, free to play um, <coughs> MMO that is Probably not densely populated right now because I'm probably right, in the starting back. zone. Find the fish in your backpack, then use the fire to cook it. Okay, use raw minnow. Minnow, now, now, later. And drag it onto the fire. What do you want? I want to cook the fish. Yeah, 
I haven't okay. got time for small talk. Whatever. Use the raw dude on the fire. Pardon? Left click the button to cook your fish. Cook the fish. Oh, fireworks again. BAM! They look nicely cooked to me. Thank you, sir. Don't eat them now. Keep hold of them until you really need them. Okay. It's the best thing for restoring health. So you should always have a little bit with you in case you get into a fight. Yes, I will take your... Now, Sorry. Yes, I will take your advice, that sir. The old blade of yours isn't going to last much longer. Yeah, insulting my blade again. Even after I killed two zombies. While you were just standing watching. And they said chivalry still alive. You're an old geezer that doesn't care. Okay, so destroy the zombie cow. What? Zombie cow? Look at those blade skills. Oh yeah. So just by the way, I'm clicking button one on the on the naga. Dead cow, drop some money. Apparently zombie cows eat coins. Sarah Doman's beard. Sir Doman's beard. I've seen anything like that. What? A cow dropping money or a zombie cow? Whatever is happening here, it's more serious than I thought. Definitely is. Like you're going to need a new sword, lassie. Your old one is beyond repair. Let's head to the quarry so we can get the ore you need. Or we can do something else. Okay, camera. Just change the camera angle a bit. Okay, like I was trying to say earlier when I got so rudely interrupted with being taught how to cook my fish. Um, for a free play MMO that is seems to be browser based and running on Java. They're going to need some tin and some copper. It's not badly compiled. Okay, so we can do some mining. Swing that axe. The tin rock. Okay. Good. You've got everything you need. Let's head over to the smithy. To the smithy. Let's go to the smithy after we look at the fireworks. Whew. Freak me, it's hot in this office. Right. The first thing to do is use the furnace to make a bronze bar. Let's make a bronze bar. Okay, click on the... And then on... The furnace. Very good, lassie. Now use the anvil to make yourself a sword. Can I... I hope I can name my sword. Well, look at that. That's a fine blade, lassie. Now all you need to do is equip it. Okay. Left click the sword to equip it. Items you have equipped can be seen in the worn equipment interface. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Okay, here come some zombies. Let's put the new blade. Okay. It sounded like it came from the church. Let's go. Okay. Let's go save the people at the church from zombies. Prepare 
prepare yourself, I see. Something tells me we've got a fight ahead of us. Okay. Good thing I've got some fish. Chad, thanks for the fish. Okay, so we're at the church. And the rock music is just going. Oh yeah. Cutscene! No, seriously, for a Java based MMO, the graphics aren't bad. That was the weirdest sound effect ever. It sounded like she attempted to sneeze but failed. Okay, so we've got dual zombies and a zombie mama to attack. Can I can I change targets? I don't need to change targets. Oh, he's dealing with that zombie. Oh, what have I gained? Skill two? It looks like kick, so let me kick you. Yes, it's kick! Ha <laughs> ha! So I'll swing my blade and kick you in the zombie knickers. There's zombie mama. Go kick zombie mama. No, seriously, go kick her. Kick her. There we go. In the face. It is useless to resist. Okay, the cooldown on kick is ridiculous. I, will make you my slave. I want to stick my foot in her chin. Where'd she go? Oh, okay. She's down here somewhere. Oh, hello. Just use the camera angles. Put your foot in her mouth. Does zombie mama have a foot fetish? She's dead! Cutscene! So theatrical. Morwena! How did you kill me? With my foot, bitch. Suck on them toes. Well, I Fireworks again. Remember. Uh, you fought bravely, lassie, and you I did. did. Thank you. Did you lose an arm in that battle? I uh, can't change the camera angle. I'm sure the townspeople will want to thank you for what you've done. Meet me at the harbor when you're ready to... I just want to go to the mainland. I don't want to celebrate. Yeah, he lost an arm in that battle. Take more winner's headdress. Does that mean I've got armor now? Okay, so backpack. Headdress gives me 30 armor. And anyone can wear it. Oh man, I look ridiculous. It looks like I'm wearing a a beaver on my head. A blue beaver to match my blue suede shoes. Okay. Yay! Everybody's cheering for me. I can't stay in chat. Sorry, guys. I got to go to the mainland and see if other people exist here, but. With the exception of me and Guldrick. This boat will take us to the mainland. Just use the gangplank to climb aboard. The gangplank. Let's go. Oh, must I talk to him? This boat will take us to the mainland. I'm ready to leave. Just climb aboard the boat. I'll be right behind you. Okay. And why are you still standing there? Yes, let's leave Ashdale. This is Tavok, the westernmost province of the Kingdom of Asgarnia.
Okay, so Taverly. My house is just a short way from here. Let's go. See, I knew something was fishy when he was like, okay, follow me to the mainland. And now he's telling me where his house is. Plus, I'm a chick wearing a beaver on my head. All the puns in that sentence were just horrific. No, I don't want to go to your house, old man. Keyboard's all flashy as I push those buttons. It's so nice. Am I in his house? That was quick. You dirty old man. What does that mean? Is that my location? Ooh, so you can drag things around your map. Okay, I can look at the time. Okay, so we've been playing, <coughs> we have been playing for about half an hour now. I must say, it's really, it's not that bad. What is the subscribe button doing? Please wait. Okay, it's launched my browser, so I'm gonna not do that. I'll stay here. Okay. What do I want me to do? World select. After you've completed your transaction. No, I don't want to do any transactions just yet. Thank you very much. Keep your pants on, old man. My house is just a short way from here. Okay, we've Let's just see. discussed it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so we've got a black screen again. Okay, so we're moving on the map there. Okay, now let's just test this theory. If I log out and log back in. Okay. Log out. And log back in. Okay, I'm in world 3. Latest content is Raptor Challenge. So this is obviously your news portal when you start off. And we'll log back in, world select. Ooh, okay, there's quite a few worlds. Okay, so there's members. So obviously paid members get like a different something. Okay, here it tells you how many people are currently playing. I'm impressed. At a quick glance. Let's say that's about 20 odd thousand players over a spread of 141 different worlds. Okay, there's no pings currently. The majority of them are member worlds, only a few free worlds. Um, okay, I don't have any friends. I just started. I'm gonna cry. No friends. Options. Okay, I don't have to go through the options. CPU mus usage usage. Okay, we'll leave that. Let's just try go back in and see where it kicks us into the game. If it drops us in his house, I'm glad we we exited. Tab oh, there we go. The westernmost province of the kingdom of Asgardia. My house is just a short way from here. Yes, let's go to your house. I just want to try and find some other players and see how interaction works. Right. The first thing I need to do is give you this. It's a contact gem. He's like, I need to give you this, and then pauses. I got very nervous there for a second, and then he talks about a contact gem. It'll allow you to talk to me even when I'm far away. So it's like a cell phone, just a gem. And now he turns his back on me. You're done using me, you dirty old man. Use the home teleport spell to travel to the Lumbridge Lodestone. If you need to talk to Goodrick, simply click this button. Okay. To toggle directions to your task on or click this button. Click here to open the path system. These are the tasks Goodrick is going to guide you through. Okay, quests. 
lodestone network okay big place people use the lodestone to get around travel between lodestones lodestone headstone well done on the originality there don't worry it is a doddle what's a doddle okay home teleport this map shows which lodestones you have activated so far okay so there's a map as your first quest is new Lumbridge castle Lumbridge lodestone has been activated for me well thank you okay so we'll click on that lodestone and she draws a circle in the sand sits in it grab something out of her back pocket hopefully and teleports alright are these other people yes they are cool okay so here we've got some characters okay can you interact with them no oh that dude's cloak must be enchanted that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of people teleporting in here. Yeah, we're, we're all gonna make it. Uh, he would something something him up. We're all gonna make it. Floyd can be defensive. So something interesting is happening inside here. What is it? An orgy or something? Too big of a weight difference. Mike would have to win. Wow. There's a floating guy here. Everybody's dressed very strangely. This guy's got like a Super Saiyan hair style. That guy's also wearing two guys wearing turbans, three guys wearing turbans. Here's a, a gold medalist from the Olympic Games. There's somebody from Assassin's Creed with rainbow boots. There's a lot of talking going on here. Can I talk? Hey, I'm a virgin. Ha! For free? No. Not your. What would I say? Nah, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, I've had my fun. Okay, cool. So I found people. We figured out this quest. You can see on the map we've got a lot of white dots running around. So I'm gonna guess that those are the people. Contact mentor. So that is probably the quest. Need some help, Lassie? No, okay. So that's our chat to him. Okay, no, that's cool. That's fine. All right, so. Duh, duh, duh. Best of luck. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, oh, wow. What the hell is that? Is that a change room? Yeah, it's a change room. That was pretty cool. Okay, now I can't see. Where am I? Okay, let me use the the map to move. What is that? Ninety three percent run energy. Direction: a reset camera, home teleport, and world map. What does the world map look like? Okay, world map shows all the main features of the game world. Explore the map, simply move the mouse while holding down the left mouse button. To zoom in and out, use the mouse wheel. Okay. So. Ooh, there's quite a few areas. The key explains what the different map icons mean. Banks, Grand Exchange. Alright, so it actually has quite a lot of MMO based stuff. So you've got banks, you've got trading posts. I'm. Um, I'm actually impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect. But like I said earlier, for a Java based, web based, or browser based um, MMO, which seems to re render the graphics as you zoom in and out, I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed. Task objective is down here. Okay, how do I get out of here? Alright, guess it's 200% zoom. Move out of there. 
and my quest objective was down here somewhere if I'm not mistaken it should be let me look on the map again oh, okay so there it's showing me the path I am here task objectives there okie dokie so let's just turn around why is it taking me that way Talk to Xenia. Oh, I was running in the wrong direction. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. Yes, I was. I was there just now. Yeah, oh, there's Xenia. What is she going to tell me to do? What happened to your voice, Zinnia? Can't hear you. What help do you need? Some cultists? They've gone into the catacombs with the prisoner. Don't know what they're planning, but I'm pretty sure it's not a tea party. There are three of them. Not young. The last time I was here, I don't want to go down there without backup. I'll help you. Accept the quest. Badoom. We have no time to lose. Let's head down the stairs. I'll follow. Enter the catacombs. Cutscene. Um, okay, so there's three different people here. Do I need to do three different voices? No. Do we have to take this idiot? Who's the idiot? Okay, so they're busy arguing with one another. I like his armor. Okay, use the mouse wheel, arrow keys, rotate the camera. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's page up in page down to? What now? Okay. Let's see what page up and page down do. Oh, there's Zoom. Just like the mouse. Okay. So. Xenia got shot by an arrow and yelped. I'm too old for this after all. You'll have to do the race without me. I just dragged you down here because I'm actually a bad person. Powers interface. Find your abilities and prayers. Success in combat depends on careful use of these powers. Okay, are you going to give me a skill? Add abilities. Left click the slaughter ability. And drag it to action bar. Overpower ability. <coughs> Adrenaline based. Okay. I'll follow you, but I'll stay out of combat. Return to me if you're wounded. And I'll have some food to share. You're lightly wounded. Please eat some food. They're using ranged weapons. I can handle this. Okay. So what? Do I talk to her to eat? You're lightly wounded. You should eat the food you're carrying. Okay. So where's my bag? There's my bag. There's my fish. And I'm at full health. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, I'm going to kick you in the teeth. And then I'm going to use that. Why can't I use any of the other skills? 
with overpower and whatever that I just learned. Just do something. Kick. Okay, use your adrenaline to trigger threshold. Okay. Something that skill number four now. Okay, just kick again. Guy's quite resilient, eh? And he's down. Okay. Are you going to kill me? Yeah, I died. Nah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just being a badass. He dropped his weapon, so I can pick it up and use it. Equip. Powers interface. Ranged abilities. Okay. Left click the piercing shot and drag it to action bar. Okay. So button 5. Piercing shot. Alright. So. There's nowhere for me to go, but open that tomb door and run around the corner. Oh, uh, so I'm going to use button 5 and I'm going to attack Caitlyn. Yay! Shoot her! Arrow to the knee. Is this the only way? Yeah, those corridors are locked. Unless I operate the winch. Is she gonna... You cannot operate the winch while you're under attack. Okay. So let me just get past those strange game mechanics and shoot her again. Okay, the cooldown on the range attack is quite annoying. Open the gates with the winch. Okay, open the gates. Okie dokie. It's rather fun. I'm quite low on health. No, uh, that's just my adrenaline. Oh, auto retaliate. Okay, so that's probably your auto attack. Hmm. Okie dokie dokie. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's talk to Caitlin. Let's ask her a question. What are you waiting for? Finish me. We'll ask her a question. Uh, what are you planning on doing? Idiot hero, you don't even know what this place is, do you? This is the tomb of Drag. What are these people come up with the names that they use? Okay, so let's see if I can select somebody here from the uh, from the Twitter stream, and I will pop you a reply. So cool. All right. <coughs> okay, so we've got a winner, and uh, we're going to draw this to a close. So, general synopsis of tonight: the keyboard, absolutely awesome. The technical specs will go on to the actual Blackwater Tournament Edition Chroma review that should be live during the course of tomorrow, which is Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. And um, then the quick synopsis on the game won't be a full scale, in depth review um, because, as you guys see, it is quite basic but it still has the same fundamentals as your mainstream MMOs so I'll put up a little article about that as well um, so please guys uh, just go take a look there if there's any questions queries 
um, any technical information that you're looking for um, if you want the link to get to this game it's it's pretty much using an app let me take a look control delete task manager it is using the JGX launcher 32-bit module it is using up 25% of my CPU it is using up quite a bit of memory no it's not it's using 750 megs of RAM almost no network requirements I mean my expert broadcast is using more network requirements so this game is literally running on nothing um, which is pretty awesome uh, it tells me you can if you're bored at the office and got your screen positioned in a certain way uh, you can set up like a guild in your office environment and you guys can go and take down some some baddies here. I don't know if uh, there's any raiding and stuff. I think that might have been what was happening in that courtyard section is everybody was probably getting ready for a raid um, which would be pretty awesome. I just don't have that much time and I'm sure you don't have that much time as well to watch me level up and grind my way through to raiding capabilities or dungeoning so uh, well this is pretty much a mini dungeon that we're going through right now so this is something that you can play without a uber graphics card so like I said information will be, and the articles will be up on the website that link again is www.ges-sa.com and uh, as per usual letting you know that we do up-to-date news, reviews, and previews on upcoming and current um, anime cosplay events, as well as gaming technology, which is now we've done a game and technology review all in one. Lucky you. Thanks for sticking through. As well as movies and television series. There's quite a few TV series that have just launched. Um, go and take a look on the site for um, some of the articles on what to watch and what not to watch. Uh, if you are currently considering subscribing to not Netflix, what is uh, something Max um, in South Africa for I think it's 99 bucks, um, will at least let you know what to use your bandwidth on or what not to use your bandwidth on. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said earlier, competition wise, there are currently four awesome competitions running on our site. Number one is to win uh, a set of double tickets to the Star Wars Force Awakens premiere at Santon City on the 16th. Um, the time will be um, a state secret until you've won the tickets uh, so that we don't have random people popping up there because uh, the cinema has been completely booked out by us. Um, so you can win yourself a set of double tickets for the event where we will be handing out prizes, we'll be having some epic events there, we'll be having some lightsaber fighting, um, we'll be, everybody's cosplaying, I'm cosplaying, um, so I'm just trying to organize myself a, a pretty cool lightsaber. I've got one currently being shipped in, but I doubt it's going to arrive here at the right time. Then we've got a competition right now running for a Kraken. Um, Xbox One um, gaming headset which ends on Sunday when it gets announced on Monday and then we kick in with another Razer competition product which you will see on Monday these competitions are all running for us for a single week so we've got five weeks of GS Christmas going on right now um, with Razer products that's why I said Maybe, maybe not. The stuff will be in there. I don't know. Let's see what Santa drops off. Um, then we've got a competition for a Rocket Raccoon and Groot Kotobukiya statue. And the fourth competition ends tomorrow. So get your tweets out right now. Uh, go to gssa.com site. Click on the competitions tab. It is for a either a premium PS4 
game or premium Xbox One game. Um, the winner gets announced tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon at least. So I will contact you based on um, the the draw tomorrow morning. So you've got, I think, about three hours left, if I take a look at the time. You've got, no, you've got two and a half hours left to get a tweet out, like the page, um, and enter to enter the, 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 the competition and um, maybe start off the weekend with a brand new game in your library. So, again, I'm all done talking now. Thank you very much for watching. Thoroughly appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Drop comments. Please like, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Don't miss out on videos. There's some awesome stuff coming up. Next week, we've got another review coming out as a group review, which will be of the Van Helsing game series. We have got the remastered version where four of us will be playing together um, in the GS group uh, via our TeamSpeak channel. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye now.